over 14 million users, Loom is arguably the biggest screen recording solution out there. But is that all there is? Surely not. Thank you, Jesus! <laughs> Stay tuned to find out the best alternatives if you want to be more than just a camera bubble. Hey guys, hope you're all doing amazing today. Now, ever found yourself looking for Loom alternatives? I mean, the screen recordings are not customizable, they all kind of look the same and it's just very boring overall. Um, well, same here. <laughs> but lucky for you, I already did the work so you don't have to. Woohoo! <laughs> so today we're going to be looking at 8 Loom alternatives and we're going to quickly compare them and rate them based on if they have a free plan available, the user interface, <laughs> which is going to be a little subjective, I admit, um, and also if they have in-app editing, because personally I find this to be one of the most useful features. Today's candidates are Jumpshare, Soapbox, Tella, Camtasia, Opencast, OBS and some other smaller ones, so make sure you watch until the end. All right, without further ado, let's get started. Number one, we have Jumpshare. Now, Jumpshare, just like Loom, offers a free plan to get started, which is really cool. However, it's not a web-based application and it requires you to download and install the program on your computer, which is quite the commitment in my opinion, and I'm not a big fan of that. <laughs> the user interface is all right, you know, it doesn't blow me away, but it doesn't look like Apple either, if you know what I'm saying. So I'm going to give this one two out of three cameras. Next up, let's take a look at Soapbox. Now, they have a free plan available, again, plus you can trim the beginning and the ending of the video, so a little in-app editing is available as well. It also lets you add custom thumbnails to your videos, something that many others don't offer, um, and since it's an extension, you can easily use it without having to download and commit. Uh, the user interface is also quite cute, so I'm going to give this one three out of three cameras. Another great alternative to using Loom is Tele. Tele makes it easy to create things like demos, tutorials and presentations and share them with your network. They offer a generous free plan, have a clean and modern looking user interface. Plus, what I personally love the most, they offer in-app editing. This will save you a bunch of time later on because you can cut out unwanted words or awkward silences right within the app without having to export the video first meaning you can share the polished video right away. Plus, you can also brand your video and change the video background, again, right within the app, as you can see right here. Uh, you know, it's just a bunch of steps combined into one, which I think is pretty cool. And I'm going to give Tella three out of three cameras. Number four is Camtasia. Now, while offering a free plan, they are more catered towards the typical PowerPoint user who wants to share their presentation via screencast. The Camtasia library lets you use some royalty-free assets, which can come in pretty handy, but the user interface looks quite old in my opinion, so I'm going to give this one two out of three cameras. On to number five, and that is Opencast. Now, Opencast is another completely free and open source solution which lets you record your screen and distribute accordingly. They do have an online option called Opencast Studio. Thank God, <laughs> because the installation process is not the most user or beginner friendly. However, they do have video editing, so that's a plus. The user interface, on the other hand, <laughs> does not convince me. So I'm going to give this one two out of three cameras. The last three options I want to show you are OBS Studio, a more popular one, Cam Studio and Cloud App. Actually, let's make a side-by-side -side comparison for these three to really break it down nicely. All of those are either free and open source or they have a free plan available. In-app editing is something only OBS Studio offers and only barely so. As in regards to the user interface, I <laughs> did not much like any of them. Uh, to be quite honest, especially Cam Studio looks extremely outdated. So that'll be one out of three cameras for Cam Studio and Cloud App, and two out of three cameras for OBS Studio. Awesome! Those were the eight free Loom alternatives worth looking into if you want to create screen recordings of your product. Now, as always, you'll find all the links to the softwares that we talked about in this video down below, so feel free to check those out. Thank you so much for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye!